Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking out of a Kisaru pipe for the first time. The Kisaru pipe is the traditional way of smoking tobacco in Japan, dating all the way back to when tobacco was originally introduced into Japan by Europeans hundreds and hundreds of years ago. The Kisaru pipe was originally inspired by Western tobacco pipes, as that's what the people who introduced tobacco into Japan were smoking out of. However, over the years, the Kisaru pipe kind of became its own thing, being defined by its small bowl and long stem. For the first hundred years or so of tobacco being a thing in Japan, Kisaru pipes and tobacco as a whole was relegated only to the wealthy, as tobacco had to be imported from Europe. However, once people in Japan started growing tobacco themselves, Kisaru pipes and tobacco got a lot cheaper. So as such, Kisaru pipes and tobacco in general exploded in popularity, and pretty much everybody and their mom started using a Kisaru pipe. Everybody, from shoguns to samurai to ronin to the typical Japanese farmer, smoked tobacco out of a Kisaru pipe for hundreds of years. They were very popular for a long time. However, they're pretty much non-existent these days. You can barely even find places which sell Kisaru pipes. I got lucky. I bought this Kisaru pipe at the Tobacco and Salt Museum in Tokyo. It makes sense why they would sell Kisaru pipes there, because like half the museum is dedicated to, well, Kisaru pipes. So I, I hope they would sell Kisaru pipes there. I've seen a couple other shops which sell Kisaru pipes as well, but it seems like, even though it is the traditional way of smoking tobacco in Japan, it is more of a gimmick than not these days, which is a little bit of a shame, but, well, I'm in Japan right now, so I figure I should probably smoke tobacco out of a Kisaru pipe to do it the traditional Japanese way, even if it is more of a gimmick than not these days. You can find Kisaru pipes for sale online throughout the world, outside of Japan. However, you can't find the traditional tobacco you are supposed to smoke out of a Kisaru pipe online pretty much anywhere. You can pretty much only get the tobacco that you're actually traditionally supposed to smoke out of a Kisaru pipe actually in Japan. However, thankfully, I'm in Japan right now, so that is not an issue. And the type of tobacco that you are traditionally supposed to smoke out of a Kisaru pipe is not just any one brand of tobacco. It is actually a specific type of tobacco, and that type of tobacco is Kizami tobacco. Kizami tobacco is defined by its very, I, I want to say like strained, almost hair-like nature. It's very, 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 very finely cut tobacco that almost looks like hair, and it's very, very, very different from pretty much every type of tobacco I've ever tried before. Apparently, it's supposed to be like almost fluffy kind of thing, which is a little bit crazy. Like, I've had fluffy tobacco before, fluffy pipe tobacco before, but it's not really the fluffiest thing in the world kind of thing, but apparently Kazami tobacco is actually supposed to be genuinely fluffy. And today, well, I'm not only going to be smoking out of a Kisaru pipe for the first time, but I'm also going to be smoking Kazami tobacco for the first time as well, which is something that I am extremely excited to do, as I would never have the opportunity to smoke Kazami tobacco for the first time with you guys today, even if I was still smoking out of a Kisaru pipe somewhere else in the world, just simply because you cannot find this tobacco outside of Japan. There are two main brands of Kazami tobacco. I can't remember one of them. I can't remember what the name of one of them is, but the one that I have on me today is Iroh Tobacco. I don't know anything about it. All I know is that I think it's called Iroh and that it cost me $7 at the Tobacco and Salt Museum in Tokyo. But I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and actually get my Kisaru pipe all out. Taking a look at the pipe itself, we can see the bowl right here is all in a very, very, very nice metal, and then the stem goes to wood, and then I think it goes to metal once again for the mouthpiece. There are some instructions on the back and everything like that, but I did indeed look up some tutorials on how to smoke out of a Kisaru pipe before this video, so hopefully I don't have any issues, but I will definitely 
refer to the back of this uh, little sheet of paper right here if I have any problems, that is for sure. Apparently, you can indeed uh, inhale the kiss through pipe. You are actually meant to inhale the kiss through pipe, so I am indeed going to be inhaling in today's video. That is one big difference between the kiss through pipe and Western tobacco pipes is that you are indeed meant to inhale the kiss through pipe, so certainly no complaints on my behalf. I do definitely prefer to inhale my tobacco. That is for sure, and I'm just going to go ahead and try to start getting this all out. It is definitely a little bit difficult, but there we go. I think I got that all out and everything like that kind of thing, and I'm going to go ahead. Let me see. This also came... Oh man, it's it's a little bit chilly right now, so I'm a little bit shaky right now, I ain't gonna lie, and I'm also just very excited, which is definitely another reason why I'm a little bit shaky right now, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But we can see this pipe also came with two pipe cleaners, which I would hope it would for $15, because that's what I spent on this pipe right here. And man, oh man, taking a look at this pipe for the first time, it is nice, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, it is nice. Let's just go ahead and see, holding it like this kind of thing. That is nice. It has a decent draw to it kind of thing. It has a decent draw to it. And just taking a look at the inside, we can see, of course, the inside of the bowl is all metal and everything like that. But the details of the Kisaru pipe are, there, there's pretty much no details to the Kisaru pipe. In all honesty, this is a very basic, a very cheap Kisaru pipe. The Tobacco and Salt Museum also sold like $150 Kisaru pipes. I wasn't big on buying one of those though, so I didn't. I bought the cheapest one they had, which was, I wanna say 15 bucks. I think I already said that, but I'll say it again, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, no, this looks this looks great in all honesty. This looks super fancy. Definitely very different from what you would see uh, from, from a Western style pipe that is for sure kind of thing. This looks more like a uh, Medwalk than it does a Western style pipe. I ain't gonna lie y'all. Man, certainly no complaints on my behalf. I'm gonna go ahead and just shove this in my backpack real quick just to make sure it doesn't roll away or anything like that. Gotta make sure it doesn't run away on me. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get my Kazami tobacco all opened up. Just like that. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I thought that I was gonna have to get a bunch of cellophane off and everything like that. It says open right here and there's a bunch of kanji right there and everything like that. Nope, it's got another little tutorial right here. It's got another little tutorial right here. So let me go ahead and just open it. Oh, just like that, and there we go. I've got it all open. Oh, wow. All right, I've got to get one of my gloves off real quick. I've got to get my gloves off real quick. It is, it is all very chilly right now. I am actually shaking because I've been sitting up here for a couple minutes, and it's just so cold. It's just so cold right now, y'all, and I'm also just so excited. That's definitely why I'm shaking right now. It's definitely not cold at all. I'm definitely not super cold right now. It's because I'm just so excited to try the Kisaru pipe for the first time, but Man, taking a look at this tobacco, let me just see if I can show y'all real quick. Look at how finely shredded that is. So apparently what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to take a about a pinch of tobacco and I'm supposed to kind of roll it into a little bit of a ball. I think I grabbed too much, but I, I wanted to show you guys what this tobacco looks like anyway. Look at how finely cut this tobacco is. Man, that is crazy. I want to roll a cigarette with this. I imagine that would be amazing. This looks more like like dead grass than anything. This is crazy. Like it looks like like dead like moss. That's what this looks like. This looks like dead like dry moss. That's crazy. This is so finely cut. It's insane. I'm going to go and put some of that back in the bag though and I'm going to try to grab just a little bit. And you're supposed to roll it into a ball that is just about the same size as the bowl on your kiss through pipe. And I think I've got a pretty good bowl, a pretty good bowl, a pretty good ball right here. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this all back over again and just go ahead and tape it shut again. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this in the bowl of my kiss through pipe right here. I think I might've grabbed a little bit too much. Oh, I definitely did grab a little bit too much, but I'm just gonna compact that in. That, that's perfectly fine. I don't know. I don't know if that's okay, but I mean like, hey, this is my first time smoking out of a kiss through pipe. I think I can make some mistakes, you know what I'm saying? I think it's okay to make some mistakes, that is for sure. But there we go. I've got my Kazami tobacco all in my kiss through pipe. And now I'm all ready to go ahead and smoke out of a kiss through pipe for the first time. I am, oh wow, I've got tobacco all over the inside of my sleeve. <laughs> Whoopsies, I definitely did not mean to do that. That was a mistake. I'm gonna go ahead and get my gloves back on because I am. Mm. 
very chilly right now. I am very chilly right now. I need my gloves on. I need my gloves on. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It is, it is, I'm currently sitting on top of a mountain. <laughs> it's, it is definitely a little bit colder up here than it is at the bottom. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But you're not supposed to inhale when you're lighting the Kazami tobacco, apparently. Apparently, you're just supposed to light it. So I'm gonna try just lighting it. You can use a lighter. There's a traditional way of doing it. You're supposed to use like the embers from something or something like that kind of thing. I don't have that. I'm gonna use a lighter that's perfectly fine. You can use a lighter, you can use matches, you can use whatever you want. I don't think you're actually supposed to inhale while you're puffing away and everything like that kind of thing. So I'm gonna try to light it like this and then I'm gonna try to take a couple puffs and see if I can just get those embers to start going and everything like that kind of thing. So it'll stay lit on its own. Hopefully it'll work out the way I want, but if I can't get that going, I'm just gonna inhale while doing it. It'll be perfectly fine, you know what I'm saying? It'll be perfectly fine. And one thing I actually forgot to do, I want to smell this tobacco real quick because I think it's going to be really sweet. It does smell sweeter than not. I want to smell. The inside of the bag real quick. It's actually not super sweet smelling. It does smell sweeter than not, that is for sure. It smells actually surprisingly interesting. It doesn't smell really like any raw tobacco I've ever bought before. Very, very, very interesting. Enough procrastinating though. Let's go ahead and actually try to get, and of course the wind is now picking up. Let's go and try to get this all lit up so I can smoke out of a Kisseru pipe for the first time. Man, oh man, I am so excited. There we go. All right, it's going. We can see it's smoking already. Some pull-throughs, some Scooby Snacks, I will admit. <sighs> Surprisingly harsh. Surprisingly harsh, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I am actually impressed at how harsh that is. It's not the harshest in the world, but it is harsher than I was expecting. It makes sense, the Kisseru pipe is a little bit long, so the smoke kind of gets a little bit cold as it's going to you and everything like that kind of thing, or at least it cools down a little bit, causing some roughness and everything like that. But it's staying lit very, very, very well. And the tobacco itself is not the most interesting taste in the world, I will admit. Not the most interesting taste in the world, I will admit, sadly, but not bad at all. And I will admit right off the bat, it is also getting me a little bit of a buzz. It is also getting me a little bit of a buzz. There is definitely a decent amount of nicotine in this tobacco, that is for sure. Interesting. Yeah, the taste is not particularly unique from the tobacco. I know Iroh tobacco is generally considered to be a cheaper Kazami tobacco, that is for sure. So not really any big surprise that it doesn't really taste super interesting or anything like that, but Overall, still not bad if I do say so myself. I'm gonna put my lighter down real quick. Try to get myself a little bit of screenshot. Man, oh man, certainly no complaints on my behalf. Whew. I ain't gonna lie, y'all though. It's getting me really buzzed. It is getting me so buzzed. And man, it is, it's so cold out here right now. I know I've said that multiple times throughout the video, but man, it really is so chilly out here right now. Man, oh man, I'm gonna get off this mountain as quickly as possible <laughs> once, once I wrap up this video, I ain't gonna lie y'all. But man, I was thinking when I was packing the bowl, I was like, man, I think I might not, I, I think I might want another, another bowl of tobacco after this kind of thing. I think I might want to smoke another bowl. No, no, I think I'm all good in all honesty. I am very, very, very buzzed right now. Everything is very much in focus. And I had a cigarette before this too. I had a cigarette right before this video too. So it's just the tobacco making me really buzzed. It's not the lack of nicotine in my system, man, oh man. And I think I kind of let it go out Either that or it's burned all the way through. Not exactly sure, I will admit. Definitely, 
get some Scooby snacks. That is for sure. You definitely do get some Scooby snacks. A screen would be a good idea for a Kisseru pipe. I'm going to go ahead and grab my lighter again because there is some more tobacco left. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get that all lit up as well, just real quick. But man, this stuff has me so buzzed. This stuff has me so buzzed, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. This is a fantastic experience, and I am so glad to now have the opportunity to smoke tobacco the traditional Japanese way in today's video. I'm in Japan, gotta do as uh, the Japanese do, right? Or, well, not anymore. Not anymore. I've seen, I, I think I saw one guy smoking out of a Western style pipe in a smoking area. And I've seen a couple people smoking cigars in smoking areas. Uh, but I have not seen a single person smoking out of a Kisseru pipe. Definitely not a lot of people use Kisseru pipes these days. That is for sure. They're definitely more of a gimmick than not. But hey, nonetheless, I am still so happy to be able to, well, smoke out of a Kisseru pipe in today's video. I think I've smoked pretty much all there is to it, if I had to guess. But I still see some brown tobacco left, so I'm going to try to smoke the rest of it. Well, I'm pretty sure that's all there is to this bowl. In all honesty, I'm going to go ahead and blow out the ash real quick. And just go ahead and tap it on the log I'm sitting on right now. And overall, yeah, no, not a bad experience at all. I know I haven't really been describing how the experience is, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do real quick before the end of the video. The experience overall, not bad. I think it would have been better if I had bought some higher quality Kazami tobacco, but the Kazami tobacco as a whole burns very interestingly. Since it's so fine cut, I would figure that it would burn pretty quickly, but it actually, for the small amount of tobacco I used, burned for a decent amount of time, which is pretty surprising, I will admit. It's also surprisingly rough. I was expecting it to be pretty smooth if I do say so myself, Maybe it's just that I'm used to smoking cigarettes, but it's actually surprisingly rough. It's more like smoking just normal Western style pipe tobacco out of a pipe or honestly smoking doka as well. I think doka honestly might be a little bit smoother, which is honestly a little bit surprising, I will admit. But I definitely have to say this is more comparable to smoking doka than smoking out of a traditional Western style pipe, just simply because you're meant to inhale this, whereas you're not meant to inhale uh, normal uh, pipe tobacco and everything like that kind of thing in a Western style. And you are meant to inhale doka. Um, so I definitely have to say this is more similar to smoking doka than uh, smoking out of a traditional Western style pipe. But overall, surprisingly rough. Burn for a surprisingly long amount of time. And overall, not bad at all, if I do say so myself. Also got me on my ass. Like, well, I am sitting on my ass right now, so literally, I, it got me on my ass, you know what I'm saying? But also, that buzz got me good. I don't know if it's just because I am a little bit chilly right now, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I am definitely a little bit chilly right now. That could certainly play a, a big part in it. But also, I just think that the uh, tobacco has a lot of nicotine in it. It definitely has a lot of nicotine in it. And yeah, certainly no complaints on my behalf. Would I smoke tobacco out of a Kisaru pipe again? Most certainly, I would most certainly smoke tobacco out of a Kisaru pipe again. This has been a fantastic experience, and I definitely do plan on doing more videos with this Kisaru pipe right here in the future, that is for sure. And I definitely do think a cigarette rolled with Kisaru tobacco, um, sorry, not with Kisaru tobacco, with Kazami tobacco, uh, would be very, 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 very interesting to smoke. So I definitely do plan on doing that in the future, that is for sure. I don't know when in the future, but sometime in the future, that is for sure. Probably when I get back to the States, in all honesty. So depending on when you're watching this video, it'll either, that video might already be up or it might not. Um, but overall, smoking tobacco out of a Kisaru pipe for the first time, smoking the traditional Japanese way, has been fantastic, and this is definitely something I'd do again, but I do kind of see why it has fallen out of favor. 
It's not exactly the most practical thing in the world to carry on you every day, especially since uh, back hundreds of years ago, there's a whole setup. You had, you, you literally carried an ashtray with you. You carried like your embers with you and you carried your pipe with you and everything like that kind of thing. And your pipe had a case and all that sort of stuff. There was a whole setup for it and everything like that kind of thing. And of course, I'm sure not everybody used that setup. But still, it's definitely a lot less practical on a daily basis than cigarettes. So I definitely do see why it's fallen out of favor. But for something to use just every once in a while, honestly, this is just so cool. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. I think that's just about all I wanted to say. So as such, without further ado, I do think it is now time for me to go ahead and end this video right here. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching my video where I smoke out of a where I smoked out of a kissaru pipe for the first time. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to well like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching y'all to the next one. Stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.